I'm up at the River Thames today at Val Wyatt Marine for a world first motorboat and yachting. We're doing an indoor used boat review and it's this. It is a Haynes 32 sedan. Now this is a boat that launched at the Southampton Boat Show in 2012 and this was launched very much as a river cruiser. So if you have a look underneath it is a displacement hull. So you can see we've got this long keel down to the back. It's a single engine you can see the rudder also at the back. In fact, if we go right to the back, you will see that it has even a stern thruster built in, which is a rather neat feature. Now, the reason I mention this in particular while we're out here is because in 2014, there was a new version launched alongside this model, which was the Haynes 32 Offshore. Now, what we did with the Offshore was everything up that we're going to look at inside the boat is pretty much the same. Where it changed was down here because the Offshore had a planing hull bigger engines, you could have twin engines, and we'll talk about those a bit more when we go on board. But the idea of that, as the name suggests, of course, was to produce an offshore version. In fact, there's one other thing I'll mention while we're on the outside, and that is hull colours, because there are various options on this. The white was standard. You could get a pale grey or a dark grey, or there was a navy blue as well. But the white certainly looks very good and has been very popular for them. Anyway, let's go on board, and I will give you a talk through the whole boat. So we step on via the bathing platform. There's a few neat features. One is the fact that you can just see it here. This is an opening canopy roof. So you can have it closed over for some shade or you can take all this canopy off, roll that back and have this a lot more open. But what really opens this boat out is these doors. They're very, very clever because they're in three sections and they fold across and then stack against the side of the boat as you can see them here. In fact, you can see the three sections and that means it completely opens this area from the cockpit right through to the inside. That is very neat indeed. Another thing that we find here, which is rather nice, is this seat. Because what you can do with this is push the backrest the other way. And that gives a great position where you're sat actually just inside the boat, but with a view out across the back. So if you're on a nice mooring somewhere, that'd be a really nice place to sit in the shelter and look out across the water from the back of the boat. Anyway, let's go on inside. I'll tell you a bit more about it. These are a British built boat. It's a small company up in Norfolk. They're a very high quality boat. The interior on these, there's three choices. The standard is the oak, which is what we have here. There's also a cherry finish or a walnut finish if you prefer. So people were able to choose when the boat was new what they wanted. And up here, this is storage along here. So it's things like drawers and a cupboard. And then you've got seating around here. There's an option to have this converting into another bed if you want it to. And then the helm is over on this side. And this is probably a good place to talk about engines. Now, Haynes fitted this boat with either a Nanny 43, 50 or 60 horsepower engine. The 43 is very popular in places like Norfolk Broads where there's not much tidal flow. The bigger engines are useful perhaps on the Thames where you might be pushing a bit more tide. And speeds were those where you're looking at probably about a nine knot flat out or a six knot cruise. However, when they brought the offshore version out, you could have twin engines with that. Now, to be fair, that was a very rare option. Most people still opted for a single, but of course it's a much bigger motor. So you're looking at a Nanny engine of 200 or 270 horsepower or a Yamaha 320 horsepower motor. The twins were a pair of 200s and maximum speed with those was around the 20 knots mark. So it just took the boat into an offshore performance league. As I say, the interior stays the same though. So if we head on forward a bit further through the boat, we'll find this galley area. This one's got the gas cooking in it, so you've got a hob underneath here, and then the oven is beneath it. And there's also a microwave, so if you're plugged into shore power, then you've got the facility of using that. Fridge is down here, and there's some nice touches, like the cutlery drawer, and so on. This is a plate rack built into here, for example. So all very nicely done. The woodwork on these in particular is very pleasing. Opposite here is the heads. That's in there, and there's a shower as well, up on the side. And then up ahead of this, there is the cabin. So double bed in here. These fellows here are the Fordex sunbathing cushions. They've just been put inside to keep them nice, of course, for the winter. There's a big hatch overhead, so this slides. Like so, so you get plenty of light and air into here, because both of those open. 
And that's actually a really decent size. There is over here, for example, storage. And then the same over on the other side. Now this boat's remained pretty much the same through production. There's been a couple of updates. From 2018 onwards, one thing they fitted was a flip over seat on this side so that you could create forward facing seating when you're underway. And the other option that appeared around the same time was a side door so you can get straight out onto the side deck from in here. It's a boat that's been very successful for Haynes. It's still in production and it's still available obviously in both the river cruising sedan version or of course the offshore. Music